Hey everyone, Scott Belsky here on the Adobe mobile team. It's super exciting when you get to track down leaders of new products who've been working with their teams for months and months and are ready to share something with the world for the first time. And so we're here with Brian O'Neill Hughes, product manager of Photoshop Mix. And uh, Brian, show us the latest. Indeed, so Photoshop Mix is really creative image editing to go. It's pieces of Photoshop available to you on the iPad. Let me show you how it works. So here's Mix. And I'm just going to launch in here. And the first thing that's worth calling out is that I can get to my PSDs, my JPEGs, my individual layers from Creative Cloud. I can get to all of my stuff in Lightroom Mobile. But the real power of this app is when it comes to selective edits and composites. So this is a full 24 meg image. And what I'm going to do is knock the sky out really quickly. So we're just going to come into Cutout. I'm going to drag my finger over there. I'm going to invert that selection, commit it, and we're going to drop in a little more colorful sky. So I can just pinch that, zoom it, nudge it up into place. And whenever I'm ready, I can pass that over to Photoshop and it will come in as a layered masked PSD. So this is, uh, you know, this is something that there's some compositing on other apps out there in the market, but nothing with this level of precision. And as you said, images of this size and, and you can really handle images of, of a large size. Yeah, there, there's nothing like it. I mean, this really does come directly from Photoshop. We're talking about huge 24 megapixel images and the same selection tools from Photoshop. So let's look at Photoshop and show you what this file looks like. Now I've already opened it because it's a 65 meg file, but you can tell just by toggling this uh, that we really are working with huge masked files and we've even brought in really detailed masks as well. So really deep integration, and like you said, serious high-res files. Awesome, so truly connected workflow. Uh, Photoshop Mix on the iPad, taking it to the next level in Photoshop on the desktop. I know one of the most requested features, though, has been give me the power of Photoshop on my iPhone. Yeah, that's the one I've wanted the most. Let me show you what we're doing there. I'm really excited that today we release Photoshop Mix on the phone, on the iPhone. I can get to my same files as before, uh, but really the name of the game here is speed. So let's look at two different images here. One, a dark contrast image. I could adjust that manually, but I'm just going to come in here and hit auto, and it takes care of everything for me. It's the same functionality as Lightroom's develop module. Really powerful, really fast. The other one we can do is when it comes to selections and masking. Let's take this picture of my little boy. Again, I could do that manually, but I've got a new auto button in here. And if I tap that, it's just oh, automatically. Sound effects. It's amazing. I wish it had sound <laughs> effects. It automatically knocks them out of the background. I could drop them into any other image. So really fast, but still really precise. And tons of possibilities. That's awesome. Yep. So Photoshop Mix now available for iPad and iPhone and yep. a truly compatible workflow with the desktop. Indeed. There you have it. Thank you.